that's d1, d0. Next one, since it's 1, 0, it's d2. Next one is d3. So who's getting it? Now, that one, that one, that one. And it would repeat itself because it's a repetitive waveform. Basically, that's the letter, that's the address. That's all a demultiplexer is. Okay, let's talk about, oh, okay, here, let's go ahead and talk about some of our previously discussed chips. You guys remember the 74150 war, uh, excuse me, 74154 4 to 16 decoder. Um, let me go ahead and draw that, how we use that. So that's the 74154 4 to 16 decoder. Well, this can actually be used as a demultiplexer. The trick is, is hooking up the active low chip selects. So these guys right here is used as a decoder. We tied these together for our chip select. And it was an active low, because remember, inside there was a negative OR, or NOR, uh, used as, a, excuse me, not negative OR, it's just a NOR, so, which is, the symbol is that. But we know a NOR can be replaced as a, with a negative AND real easily, and that makes your enable, which is, remember, these are all NAND gates here, so that's a high to the enables tied to every single one of these. But this is our code in. So if the chip is enabled, i.e. sending it a zero on the on the chip select there, um, only one of these outputs uh, is an active low. Okay, so that's zero to 15 outputs there. So 16 outputs. So only one of those is low. So that almost sounds like, hey, if, these, if this code is coming in and only one of these guys is getting it, is receiving some output there, that almost sounds like a demultiplexer. Well, like I said, the trick is is hooking up the active low chip selects. Let's, let's go ahead and I'll draw um, how it's set up as a demultiplexer. So as a demultiplexer, you know, there's zero to 15 outputs there, i.e. 16 positions. So to get an address for 16 positions, we need four bits. So where do you think uh, the address is? Well, right there. Uh, whereas previously we were putting our code in, now we just use our four bit data select. And it's gonna, just like previously, um, give us only one of these guys is going to be active at any time. Only one of those 16 is going to be active at any time. All the rest of the guys, they're open up to their mailbox. There's no mail in there because only one guy is receiving the, uh, the data. Now, where does the data come in? Well, you ground this guy and just send data in here. And you can do either one too. You can flip-flop them. As long as one's grounded and one's got data in. So why does this work? Well, check it out. This enable, if you remember right, when we were talking earlier, that's tied to every single one of these NAND gates, because these are all NAND gates right here. OK, so that enable signal, let's, let's go back. So this, this is stage two. Stage one is this guy. our enable signal, and that's going to this guy right there. So if data is coming in on one of these guys, what does a negative AND do? Well, a truth table for a negative AND, 0, 1, 1, 0. It looks like this. So anytime there's both zeros, you get a 1. So enable looks like the inverted data in. Now when one of these is activated, when one of these NAND gates is activated, let's say it's getting, let's see, oh, it's actually, it's a lot more than uh, that input because remember there's four of them. So one, two, three, four, that's S0, S1, S2, 
minus 3. When all three of these guys coming into that NAND gate is a 1, and you get this inverted signal of the data in coming in, remember a NAND gate, it's truth table. The only time the only time it's low is when both are ones. Okay, so think about this here is basically as this inverted thing comes in, anytime that you get that in as a zero when it's selected. One second here. I'm sorry, I'll make it easier. So anytime you get the inverted enable there, anytime you get a 1 here, and those 1s, basically you're getting a 0 output. So what you're getting is you're inverting the inverted output, or excuse me, inverting, you're inverting the inverted input, which is that guy right there, your original data. Pretty cool, huh? All right, that's it for uh, demultiplexers. Um, again, all they are is just a little postman. They've got a letter, and the letter has an address on it.